everyone. Welcome back to Nexus Intelligence Insights. Uh, for this month, we have an enable command line argument vulnerability, which Axe is going to talk to you guys about. Um, one of the things that we try to do here at Sonotype is uh, really dig down deep in these vulnerabilities and uh, give good guidance, um, guidance that uh, we hope will um, alleviate the stress of folks involved in remediating uh, some of these vulnerabilities. And Axe is going to talk a little bit about um, something that happens here, um, not horribly often, but often enough, and that we have a little bit of a deviation on our advisory from the advisory of the project. And I think that's uh, one of the things that sort of makes our data special and makes our team, uh, the team that Axe is on, special. So, Axe, I'm going to let you take it away and talk about uh, this month's vulnerability, uh, your recommendation, and uh, um, sort of our deviation from the norm. Thanks, Alyssa. Hello, everyone. I'm Ak Sharma. If you remember me from last time, I'm from Sonotype Security Research Team. And today we'll go over Apache Tomcat's remote code execution vulnerability, which is known by CVE 2019-0232. Now, one of the things we want to especially mention is that in this case, the advisory had a couple of mistakes, which we got covered in our products. So at its core, this vulnerability impacts Windows systems. So if you're running Apache Tomcat on a Windows server with certain configuration or older versions, you're vulnerable. And the CGI servlet of Apache Tomcat, it lets an attacker execute arbitrary commands. Let me show you how this vulnerability has been introduced. As you can see here, the commands here are not being properly sanitized. So if an attacker is able to influence the input being sent to CGS servlet, it will be appended, appended as it is and executed on a Windows machine. And the fix for this vulnerability was rather simple. They have used, uh, let me try to scroll it up a little bit, they have used a regex pattern, which basically makes sure that if the JRE platform is Windows, the command line arguments, they get sanitized properly, match this pattern, and the execution won't happen. So in this case, the fix wasn't too uh, difficult, but what I want Alyssa to go over is that this was something no noticed back in 2017, and the developers neglected it. Right, so I think we were talking earlier about this in the, um, there was a patch that was issued, but it was a little bit confusing because it wasn't issued for all versions, if I'm getting that right. So if you're the data guy, keep me, keep me on. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> happy to do so, Alyssa. So, um, uh, but yeah, so it wasn't uh, necessarily applied to all versions and that created a little bit of confusion. So kind of flashing forward to today now, we have kind of a revisitation of that issue. Right. So I'm, I'm just going to show the issue itself, but it looks like in 2017, it does say the issue was resolved. It, it's bug 61489 on Apache's Bugzilla website. And it does say it was resolved, but I don't think it was properly in, implemented. Or maybe in some versions, they use this Boolean enable command line arguments flag, but some other versions, they were neglected. But now they have all versions covered because of the regex. And uh, just to be on the safer side, the advisory mentions, well, first of all, this one's a typo here. 7.0.93 is vulnerable. I think that was an honest typographical error. Uh, second advisory deviation we added was that over here it says versions 8.5.0 onwards are vulnerable, but we went ahead and said that versions 8.0.0 onwards are vulnerable, just to be on the safer side, because it, at the end of the day, it depends on individual configurations and uh, certain versions have this Boolean flag, other versions don't, so just wanted to be on the safer side. I'm going to pass this back to Alyssa. Thank you very much, Axe, and thank you guys for joining in yet again for our Nexus Intelligence Insights. As you can see, we take a lot of time and effort uh, and trouble in this case uh, to really get down deep into these vulnerabilities and to uh, understand which versions are impacted, which versions aren't, uh, if there's a typo in this case, uh, but really just saving people time, uh, effort, and stress as they're trying to remediate some of these things. So, Axe, thank you so much for taking time to be here today. Thank you all for listening. Uh, if you prefer to read, um, some people do. Uh, we have a, a kind of a sketched out uh, version of this below, so feel free to do that. And if you'd like, you can use our Nexus Vulnerability Scanner to scan your own code and see if you're vulnerable for this or uh, many other types of vulnerabilities. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next month.